Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Baby J TV. Man, you know what this is becoming? This is becoming a Kim Kardashian and Kanye West YouTube channel. Like, why am I reporting on these two every second video, bro? (laughs) This is crazy. But there's been a recent development. This happened yesterday, right? So Skeet Davidson, the man that is skeeting all up in Kanye's (laughs) ex-wife. Skeeting all over. Uh, his writing partner released texts from this morning, well, Sunday morning, yesterday morning, and they basically went like this. This is, uh, this is what Skeet was uh, sending to Kanye. Yo, it's Skeet. Can you please take a second and calm down? Uh, it's 8 a.m. It doesn't, it don't need to be like this. Kim is, Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met. What she does for those kids is amazing. And you are so mm, lucky that she's your kid's mom. I've decided I'm not going to let you treat us this way anymore. And I'm done being quiet. Go to mm, up. And then, you know, Yeezus says, oh, you're using profanity. Where are you right now? This dude says the most savage thing ever. In bed with your wife. (laughs) Then sends him the most disrespectful you know selfie ever right so it's like happy to so kanye is like happy to see you're out of rehab hospital and rehab same here so skeet says same here it's wonders what those places do when you get help you should try it i'm in la for the day if you want to stop being a little internet boy and talk you know what i'm saying and basically uh you don't scare me bro your actions are P-U-S-S-Y and embarrassing. It's so sad to watch you ruin your legacy on the daily. You're more than what Kanye is like. You're more than welcome to come to Sunday service. And then Skeet's like, why don't you meet me after Sunday service and Saints game? I'll be at the BHA. We can have food and talk it out in my room. Privately, one-on-one, man-to-man. What, you are, what you're doing to your family is dangerous and going to scar them for life. Please handle these matters privately, bro. I beg you. And then Yeezy's like, you want to see me? Come to Sunday service. And then Skeet's like, this isn't public, dude. I'm not here for pictures and press, which is obviously all you care of. My offer stands. I wish you'd man up for once in your life. Let me help you, man. I struggle with mental stuff, too. It's not an easy journey. You don't have to feel this way anymore. There's no shame in having a little help. You'll be so happy and at peace. You have no idea how nice I've been to you despite your actions. I stopped SNL from talking about you or making fun of you, which they wanted to for months. I stopped stand-up comedians from doing bits about you because I don't want the father of my girl's kids to look bad out here. I have your back, even though you treat me like shh. Because I want everything to be smooth. And if you continue to press me like you have for the past six months, I'm going to stop being nice. Okay. That was a lot. That was a lot to read. I'm going to give you all a quick analysis, man. Who came out looking better on this? Ironically, Kanye. Yes. Yes. Sounds weird to say. Yes. The dude that's been harassing his ex-wife. The dude who's been stalking his ex-wife. The dude who is one of the greatest musicians of all time, actually ended up looking better than Skeet. Now, let me tell you something. Skeet should have just shut his mouth. There's so much power in shutting your mouth. Okay? Why was Kanye looking crazy and delusional and mod and all these things? I'll tell you why. Very simple. Because Pete Skeet was not engaging. Because Kim was not engaging. Right. Let me tell you something. If you have one sided beef, it's not beef. It's just you hate. You're a hater, period. Right. If you go to a boxing match and one person is boxing and the other person is just laying there and just standing and taking it, that's not a fight. That's abuse. That's assault. Right. Same thing in this situation. Kanye was throwing all these haymakers, doing all kind of weird ish, living right next to his Buying a house right next to his ex-wife, looking like a damn stalker. Okay? And now that Skeet finally replied, you could say, okay, he's standing up to his bully. Not really. Not really. Because at the end of the day, Skeet tried just 
you know, disrespected the hell out of Kanye. Now, you can say, oh, okay, you reached to a point on no return. I can kind of understand that. But at the same time, it's like, bro, if you're going to choose one way, then stick to that way, right? If all of a sudden now you're switching up to be super disrespectful towards Yeezy, well, through these texts, you actually look worse than him. Like, through this specific interaction, through these the whole picture of things, Yes, Kanye looks terrible, but you look worse for bragging about smashing his ex-wife, right? And bragging about that only makes you look bad. Now you look slightly villainish, right? At the same time, now you're trying to give him mental health help assistance after talking, after giving him pure forms of disrespect. And I know why he did that. Shout out to academics. He said something similar. That was to bait Kanye into threatening you. And if Kanye threatens you, you call the police, he's done. This is what the Kardashians do, man. They embarrass the hell out of black men. And they pick black men. And more specifically, black men pick them that have all kinds of issues, bro. Lamar Odom, Tristan Thompson, right? All these black men that they're around or they've been with all have issues, bro. And you think it's a coincidence, man? I've been telling y'all, these are prostitutes, man. They are white trash and they're prostitutes. That's what they are. And the black men are falling into this trap because these white trash prostitute women have a lot of surgery and fake butts. That's it. That's it. Right. And Kanye needs to realize his own value and say, hey, why am I beefing with Skeet? Skeet Davidson. Like what? Like, you got to be more objective. And I know he was in love with his wife, his baby moms. But, bro, you are better than this. You're better than recording yourself uh, a, a, a video uh, praying about this. You're better than texting a loser like Ski. You are Kanye, MF, and West, bro. Big Baby JTV, man. This is so goofy. I'm out.